Hey, what's up, my fellow scholars? Uh, here we're going to learn about how you mul multiply matrices together. Um, I'm, I'll show you two ways. The first way is like very procedural, very full proof. Um, it just kind of takes a long time. The second way, once you get good at it, lets you do it like much faster. Uh, and we'll talk about like when matrix multiplication is defined, when it's not defined, how to know the dimension of the product matrix. And, um, and I'll introduce the concept of an in inverse matrix. You'll see that come up here. With you'll do whatever you'll see. So we're gonna start off with this example. We have this two by two matrix multiplied by this other two by two matrix. So first things first, is this even possible? Can we even multiply these together? How do you know? Some matrix multiplications are not defined, and they're not defined when these inner dimensions are not the same. So when I say inner dimensions, I mean if you write the dimensions underneath each matrix, the in inside numbers have to be the same if the matrix multiplication is going to be defined in the first place, like if it's even possible to do it. And in this case, you can see it is defined because we have inner dimensions of both two. And then interestingly enough, so it's defined. And then interestingly enough, if you take the outer dimensions, you bring them down, and you write the outer dimension by the other outer dimension, that's the dimension of the product matrix. Okay, so we know that we're gonna get an output matrix that's two by two. So here I'm gonna write this long line, this will be the first entry of our product matrix. This will be another entry, another entry, another entry. So you can see that our output matrix is going to be two by two. Uh, how do you actually do this? Okay, let's see. We do, this is the very procedural foolproof way. Um, here, we want to find the first row and first column of our output matrix. So we're going to take the dot product of our first row and first column of the of these two matrices and what does a dot product means so well, it means you multiply corresponding elements together and add them up so it's pretty straightforward you do this here this element is the first row first column so we dot the first row and the first column so it looks like this first row first column so four times one and then plus three times negative one That's called a dot product, where you like multiply the corresponding elements together and you add them all up. So again, it's always like in linear algebra and like matrices and stuff, it's always rows first and then columns. So we're looking up here in the top left corner. We want to find this element. This element is the first row and it's the first column. So we go and we do the first row in the first column, going from left to right like that. We dot them together. So we do four times one plus three times negative one. Um, right, so then we can simplify that. Here's going to be our final matrix. This is four minus three, so that's just one. Okay, over here we want to do that. This is the we want to find this entry. This is the first row, second column. So we are going to dot our first row and second column. So we're going to do four times negative three plus three times four. So four times negative three plus three times four. And what does this simplify to? Negative twelve plus twelve. This becomes zero. Okay, over here, this, this entry is the second row, first column. So we do second row times first column. We dot them. So we get 1 times 1 plus 1 times negative 1. And what does that reduce to? A 0. And then the last one, this is the second row, second column. So we dot the second row by the second column. We get 1 times negative 3 plus 1 times 4. And that's negative 3 plus 4. That's 1. Oh, this is interesting, right? Our product matrix is the identity matrix. Remember, the identity matrix has ones along the main diagonal and zeros everywhere else. So since we multiplied these two matrices together, we got the identity matrix. Then you can say that this matrix here is the inverse of this matrix. Or vice versa, you could say this matrix is the inverse of this matrix. So when you take a matrix and you multiply it by its inverse, you get the identity matrix. I just want to get your feet a little bit wet on that because, wait, what is this? This should be a negative one. Sorry. I just wanted to get your feet wet on that terminology because it's going to come up in the in subsequent videos. Um, but anyway, this this main topic of this video is matrix multiplication. I hope that makes sense. Really quick, I want to just like burn through a couple more examples. Let's say you had a two by three matrix and you're multiplying it by a four by five matrix. Oh, this is a disaster. Four by five. Right? So you have some like two by three and then you multiply it by like four by five. Is this defined? No, it's not because the inner di dimensions are not the same. What if it was two by three by three by five? 
Okay, then now the inner dimensions are the same. The, the product matrix would be 2 by 5, right? It's the outer dimensions. Okay, so then it would be... It would be... <laughs> This is the least organized video I have on the entire playlist. It would be two by five, so it would be like a long and skinny matrix. Okay? Just want to make sure that's clear, because this is kind of boring, right? Because they're both square matrices. But once you have like different dimensions, you, you really do have to check, is it defined? And then what's the dimension of your product matrix? Um, okay, the second way that you can do matrix multiplication. If you say B is a two by two vector, like we had a two by two matrix, like we had above, and its columns are like V1, and V2, right? So up here, we could call this our B matrix, and this has columns V1, V2. Then A times B is just a matrix whose uh, columns are A times V1, that's the first column, and A times V2. So this is the way I actually do the matrix multiplications when I'm taking a test or something because it's a lot quicker. Um, and like I, I uh, encourage you to like go through and practice it this way because I think it'll pay off in the end um, by saving you a lot of time. So above we had the matrices 4, 3, 1, 1 and 1, negative 3, negative 1, 4. And so when you do this, this second method you would have the first column is A. So we're calling, by the way, we're calling this one our A matrix and this one our B matrix. We have A, which is 4, 3, 1, 1 times V1, which this is V1, this is V2, 1, negative 1. This matrix times a vector is our first column of the product matrix. And you're like, wow, this is so much more confusing. What is happening? But I, I, I promise you, like, it's a lot easier once you get good at it. And then our second column of our product matrix is A times V2. So that's this guy, negative 3, 4. Okay, so this whole thing is our matrix A, B. And you know how to do this, right? Th this video is about matrix multiplication. Uh, but you already know how to do a matrix, like when you have big matrix times big matrix. But, but uh, you already know how to do a big matrix times a vector. This is like old stuff. This is easy stuff. So this is, um, right, this matrix times this vector is a linear combination of the columns of this matrix, the weights of the entries in this vector, blah, blah, blah. You guys are masters at this already. So we just do, um, we just do that. We do that linear combination. So this first column is 1 times 4, 1 minus 1 times 3, 1. This whole thing is our first column. And then over here we have, we do this matrix times this vector. We get negative 3 times 4, 1 plus 4 times 3, 1, right? Boom. These all will simplify it to two column vectors, right? So let's simplify that. Here we have 4 minus 3 is 1. And here we have 1 minus 1 is 0. And then here we have, in our second column, we have negative 12 plus 12 is 0. And we have negative 3 plus 4 is 1. So this is the alternate way to do it. And it because I was showing all these steps, it looks like more complicated, but you can just do this in your head. You like take these two numbers and you turn them sideways. And you you do the linear combination, you simplify it and it just becomes one vector. So once you get good at it, you can just like picture it in your head and it, it just, it saves a lot of time, I promise you. Okay, those are the two methods. Remember, it's only defined when the inner dimensions are the same and then the outer dimensions give you the dimension of your product matrix. Um, and then, if you multiply, if you if you have one matrix and you multiply it by its inverse, then you get the identity matrix. Okay, those are the points I wanted to cover in this video. Um, I'll see you in the next one.